Ra. I am Ra. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. I communicate now. Questioner. Is Ra familiar with the results of our efforts today to publish the first book that we did? Ra. I am Ra. This is correct. Questioner. I don't know if you can comment on the difficulty that we will have in making the law of one available to those who would require it and want it. It is not something that is easy to disseminate to those who want it at this time. I am sure there are many, especially the wanderers, who want this information, but we will have to do something else in order to get it into their hands in the way of added material, I am afraid. Is it possible for you to comment on this? Ra. I am Ra. It is possible. Questioner. Will you comment on it? Ra. I am Ra. We shall. Firstly, the choosing of this group to do some work to serve others was of an intensive nature. Each present sacrificed much for no tangible result. Each may search its heart for the type of sacrifice, knowing that the material sacrifices are the least, the intensive commitment to blending into an harmonious group at the apex of sacrifice. Under these conditions we found your vibration. We observe your vibration. It will not be seen often. We do not wish to puff up the pride, but we shall not chaffer with the circumstances necessary for our particular contact. Thus you have received, and we willingly undertake the honored duty of continuing to offer transmissions of concepts which are, to the best of our abilities, precise in nature, and grounded in the attempt to unify many of those things that concern you. Secondly, the use you make of these transmissions is completely at your discretion. We suggest the flowing of the natural intuitive senses, and a minimum of the distortion towards concern. We are content, as we have said, to be able to aid in the evolution of one of your peoples. Whatever efforts you make cannot disappoint us, for that number already exceeds one. Questioner. I have been very hesitant to ask certain questions for fear that they would be regarded, as I regard them, as questions of unimportance or to greater specificity and thereby reduce our contact with you. In order to disseminate some of the information that I consider to be of extreme importance, that is, the non-transient type of information, information having to do with evolution of mind, body, and spirit, it seems almost necessary in our society to include information that is of little value simply because that is how our society works, how the system of distribution appraises that which is offered for distribution. Will you comment on this problem that I have? Ra. I am Ra. We comment as follows. It is quite precisely correct that the level and purity of this contact is dependent upon the level and purity of information sought. Thusly, the continued requests for specific information from this particular source is deleterious to the substance of your purpose. Moreover, as we scanned your mind to grasp your situation as regards the typescript of some of our words, we found that you had been criticized for the type of language construction used to convey data. Due to our orientation with regard to data, even the most specifically answered question would be worded by our group in such a way as to maximize the accuracy of the nuances of the answer. This, however, mitigates against what your critic desires in the way of simple, lucid prose. More than this we cannot say. These are our observations of your situation. What you wish to do is completely your decision, and we remain at your service in whatever way we may be without breaking the way of confusion. Questioner. We will attempt to work around these problems in the dissemination of the law of one. It will take some careful work to do this, but we will. I personally will not cease, while still incarnate, to attempt to disseminate this. It will be necessary to write a book, probably about UFOs, since the law of one is connected with the phenomenon. It's connected with all phenomena, but this seems to be the easiest entry into dissemination. My first plan is to, using the UFO in the advertising sense that it was meant by the Confederation, use this as an entry into an explanation of the process of evolution that has gone on on this planet and how the rest of the Confederation has been involved in a more understandable way, shall I say, for the population who will read it. Using the raw material in undistorted form just as it has been recorded here in various places through the book to amplify and clarify what we are saying in the book. This is the only way that I can see right now to create enough dissemination for the people who would like to have the law of one for them to be able to get it. I could just print up the material that we have off of the tape recorder and publish it, but we would be unable to disseminate it very well because of distribution problems. Will you comment on my second idea of doing a general book on UFOs including the material from the law of one, Ra? I am Ra. We shall comment. We hope that your Ra plans materialize. This is a cosmic joke. You were asking for such an example of humor, and we feel this is a rather appropriate nexus in which one may be inserted. Continue with your intentions to the best of your natures and abilities. What more can be done, my friends? Questioner. In that case, I'll go ahead with the questions. We have here continuing the last session. You said that each third density entity has an higher self in the sixth density which is moving to the mind-body-spirit complex of the entity, as he did. 
Does this higher self also evolve and grow through the densities beginning with the first density, and does each higher self have a corresponding higher self advanced in densities beyond it? Ra. I am Ra. To simplify this concept is our intent. The higher self is a manifestation given to the late sixth density mind-body-spirit complex, as a gift from its future selfness. The mid-seventh density's last action, before turning towards the allness of the creator, and gaining spiritual masses to give this resource to the sixth density self, moving, as you measure time, in a stream of time. This self, the mind-body-spirit complex of late sixth density, has then the honor duty of using both the experiences of its total living bank or memory of experience thoughts and actions, and using the resource of the mind-body-spirit complex totality left behind as a type of infinitely complex thought form. In this way you may see yourself, your higher self or oversoul, and your mind-body-spirit complex totality as three points in a circle. The only distinction is that of your time-space continuum. All are the same being. Questioner. Does each entity have an individual mind-body-spirit complex totality, or do a number of entities share the same mind-body-spirit complex totality? Ra. I am Ra. Both of these statements are correct given the appropriate time-space conditions. Each entity has its totality, and at the point at which a planetary entity becomes a social memory complex the totality of this union of entities also has its oversoul, and its social memory complex totality as resource. As always, the sum, spiritually speaking, is greater than the sum of its parts, so that the oversoul of a social memory complex is not the sum of the oversouls of its member entities, but operates upon the way of what we have called squares and what we grasp you prefer to call doubling. Questioner. Thank you. Thank you for that explanation of the mathematics too. That was bothering me could you define spiritual mass? Ra. I am Ra. This will be the last full question of this session. Spiritual mass is that which begins to attract the outmoving and ongoing vibratory oscillations of beingness into the gravity, speaking in a spiritual sense, well of the great central sun, core, or creator, of the infinite universes. Questioner. Since we don't want to tire the instrument I will just ask if there is anything we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or improve the contact. Ra. I am Ra. All is well. We leave you now in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, then, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai.